Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Clash Royale. I've actually been working my way up to Arena 4, so you can see that I actually just made it um, a little while ago. This unlocks for us the Tesla, Minion Horde, the Inferno Tower, the Hog Rider, which I actually got, uh, which is uh, pretty cool, uh, the uh, Free Spell, and the Pekka. Um, so I wanted to show you the last two battles that actually took me to um, Arena 4. Um, they were fairly intense, but I ended up getting um, nice three stars on both of them. So, uh, looking at the first one, we'll speed it up a little bit. Usually, I wait until the elixir bar is full and I'll drop something really far back just to be able to back up those troops. So, he's going to drop some stuff on the left that doesn't really need help getting taken out. I'll drop um, a bomb just to distract those. And he actually lets my bow through on the right side, so I'm really worried about that, I guess. So, considering he dropped the giant, I figured he didn't have any elixir, so I dropped my knight on the right side, um, and they end up being able to take out that tower on that side. Unfortunately, I didn't get enough elixir to take out the giant on the left side, so he's going to do a bit of damage. We're going to use some arrows to take out um, the skellies on the left side, but he still manages to break through because the archers didn't die. So now we're one for one. Well, one on one. Um, I dropped the barbarians this time, followed by a couple of goblins. Make sure we take out that giant before he gets to us. And they'll take him out along with a couple of the troops, then he drops a bunch of others to be able to push on through. So I'll drop my own giant to tank along with a bunch of other, um, or along with the wall breaker to kind of kill everything in front of him. And then I'll drop a knight on the right side. Um, and he'll take the king down to half health. So I dropped some barbarians on the left side. Um, we dropped some arrows to take out uh, to take out the troops behind the giants so the barbarians can kill them. And lots of push back and forth here. But moving into the last 40 seconds. Uh, we drop some minions to take out the knights and to take out some of the other troops that are moving in. I drop the bomber to be able to take out a couple of the skellies. Unfortunately, if it's taken out right away, I probably should have dropped them a little bit further back. So we drop the knight on the right side, followed by a couple skellies. He drops the epic skeleton, but not in time to distract the uh, knights. So we end up getting the three star by taking out the king from the right side, uh, which is pretty nice. So that got me to within one win of uh, Arena 4, so the next one I definitely had to win. You can see here that I got a 3 star on this one as well. And this one was actually against a guy with um, a baby dragon and a witch, I believe. Um, and I've had a bit of a problem uh, with both, but I've let friends encounter them a little bit better, which uh, hopefully I'll get to go over in this video. So I waited until we were full, wanted him to make the first move. I probably could have dropped something in the back. But... So we'll wait for his minions to creep up, we'll put some goblins down to counter those, uh, help take those out, and then with the goblin that's moving up, um, I'll drop the giant in front of them to hopefully tank. Four giant dropped a little bit slowly, and uh, a couple of them get taken out before uh, he gets in front. So with the dragon targeting uh, the bomber, hopefully the minions can take it out quickly enough, which they end up doing, so the giant stays alive and is able to move even to um, that tower. Uh, he drops the witch a little bit late, and all the minions target the tower, so we're able to take it out uh, without getting uh, distracted by the witch. So we're up one, drop some goblins, take out those barbarians we're getting. Um, the witch tends to be a bit of a problem for me as well. Um, I either have to use a Valk uh, to counter him, or one of the bombers. My bomber was down, so I had to drop the Valk here. Um, unfortunately, she doesn't take him out. I probably could have waited a little bit longer to make sure she was in range with the uh, tower uh, so that it would actually take her out. But uh, we dropped the bomber there, distract him for a little while, and we take him out. So, um, waiting for Elixir to build here. I want to have him make the first move. Um, but I dropped the uh, giant there and kind of just ignored the goblin barrel that he threw. I kind of just did it at the same time because uh, I wasn't sure if he was going to make a move at that point. Anyways, we'll take out that Tesla. I figured he was low on Elixir because he just dropped those. So I drop a knight on the left side to charge him right away. Um, he actually takes out whatever it is that he just dropped, uh, I don't really know. Uh, but we're able to make our way um, in and finish off that tower. Or almost finish off that tower. Oh, oh. Just 45 HP left, so 
Um, I could use some arrows here, or I can just keep tossing the troops uh, to push their way in towards um, the uh, king. So with the baby dragon, again, he does AOD, so I need to be careful um, about placing my minions. Um, so I have to wait till he's targeting something else, and then drop the minions after that. I'll drop the knight on the left side, and I hit one of the archers, and then finally takes out that tower on the left side. And then uh, the uh, giant drop is right underneath the dragon, just to tank him and the tester at the same time, so that the goblins stay alive and are able to move him uh, on this game. So he drops freaking goblin barrel, which I don't know, I think is personally really cheap, but it is what it is in the game. Uh, so we'll drop everything uh, towards the king now, uh, make a pull on push just because he's uh, low on elixir and buildings, and <laughs> yeah, I guess he was kind of impressed with the gameplay. Anyways, uh, turns out we did pretty well. We got a three star on that. Um, against Cynthia, which is actually in the name of one of my really good friends. But uh, that brings us to Arena 4. And uh, yeah, now we get to open um, a couple more chests. I did end up getting a minion horde already. I got a hog rider, but I think the thing I want to get most right now is probably the Inferno Tower, just because I heard it's a really, really awesome defense. So uh, we'll see how we do in Arena 4, and we'll go ahead and make a push towards Arena 5. Thanks for watching, uh, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.